Hey, are you a security professional and looking for the best way to carry out security risk assessment? You might be searching here and there and finding it difficult to find out the exact steps that are necessary to carry out effective security risk assessment. We at COP Security International have designed the simple and effective five-step security risk assessment process. So, if you would like to carry out security risk assessment, the most effective way, make sure that you follow COP Security Security Risk Assessment Framework and let us dive and understand in this video. I have good news for you. Before let us go deep in this video, I want you to check COP Security Community where you connect with fellow security professionals, where you can attend knowledge sharing sessions by experts and you can connect with fellow security professionals worldwide and there are subject area groups and discussion forums where you can discuss the topics that matter most to you. So click on the link below in the description and join COP security community. Okay, let us understand what is security risk assessment in the first place and why security risk assessment is important. Security risk assessment is the basis for security risk management program. Without a solid security risk assessment framework, you will not be able to build effective security risk management program. So if you have a security department and if you have already built one or maybe you are running the one and if you're running that without having a proper security risk assessment, chances are you're just running a department and you're not sure that what are the risks that you are actually protecting and what are the security measures that are there, why are, why are those security measures have been put in place and then against which threats and against which risks. So this is more or less you're just trying to protect things which are not actually require protection. So a solid security risk assessment framework will give you an approach which is logical, organized and consistent so that you can implement that framework to build an effective security risk assessment process and you can do that every single time whenever you require to do that in the future. The only goal of security risk assessment is to give accurate results so that the decision makers can make informed decisions based on the available data and protect the assets against actual risks. In simple terms, the decision makers exactly knows where they have to invest their resources and which risks require more attention. Let us discuss the five step COP security, security risk assessment framework, which you can use to carry out effective security risk assessments. Step number one, determine the scope of security risk assessment. As a security professional, you must first understand the scope of the security risk assessment that you require to carry out. So the scope can be the entire corporate that you are carrying out or it could be one of the facilities or it could be one of the regions or sometimes it could be the entire department or maybe some process or the system. So the first thing that you got to do before carrying out security risk assessment, you must understand the scope of security risk assessment. In this scope, you also have to understand who are the personnel who's going to give you the information that is required for you and who are the stakeholders who are going to collaborate with you so that you will be able to accomplish your security risk assessment project and give the results that management or the client that gave it to you because you understood the scope well and you will be able to deliver the security risk assessment which is effective. With well-defined scope, you can easily communicate your findings to key stakeholders 
and get the buy-in from the leadership for wider implementation. In simple terms, setting up a solid scope will allow you to create an actionable plans that will decrease the overall risk. Step number two, identify assets, threats, and vulnerabilities. See, if you want to conduct an effective security risk assessment, you cannot conduct without any of these three components. Unless you understand what are the critical assets that you require to protect within your organization. And then what are the threats that might be looking for those assets or that might want to destroy or steal those assets. And then what are the vulnerabilities that you have within your system? Once you start understanding these three components or the elements, only then you will be able to understand the risk. So the second step is such an important and extensive one. You got to identify all the threats, whether it is tangible, intangible or mixed category, or it is uh, something purely uh, tangible thing like uh, valuables, finished goods or anything that is more critical and important to your organization or intangible assets like reputation or data. When you carry out this asset threat and vulnerability identification, your focus should always to identify those assets that are mission critical. Not all assets are equal, not all assets require protection. So your job as a security expert is to find out those mission critical assets. What are the ways that you can identify? In simple way, you can remember any asset that is high in cost, high in impact and disruption. When you identify the threats, you got to consider all categories of threats, whether intentional, unintentional and natural. You'll also look at the sources of the threats, whether it is insider or outsider, or the capabilities of the threat and the tactics of threats like whether they use force tactic or stealth tactic or deceit tactic or technical attacks. You just have to consider every aspect when you are considering the threats. And then you got to look for the vulnerabilities within your systems, processes and within your organization environment or what are the business operation environment you got to look for the vulnerabilities and while you're doing the vulnerability assessment you just have to look for the two important aspects the one is observability of that particular vulnerability which means that how easy it is for the bad guy to observe that particular vulnerability the second aspect is exploitability which means how easy it is for the bad guy to exploit that discovered vulnerability. Step number three, analyze the risks and determine the impact. In order to do this, you can use the simple formula that is risk equivalent to assets multiply threats multiply vulnerabilities, which basically means if any one of those things are absent, there is no risk. For example, you have assets, you have threats, but there are no vulnerabilities within the system. Then there is no risk. And you have assets, you have vulnerabilities, and there are no threats which is looking for those assets. That means there is no risk. But in actual scenario, and when the business is running, these type of scenarios are quite rare. But this ideal situation may not possible in many of the instances. The likelihood or probability measures the chances of the particular risk event occurring. The severity or the impact describes the consequences of that risk event if it does occur. The step number four is prioritizing the risks. 
The risk prioritization is a process of ranking risks and evaluating which risks requires more attention. It is important to prioritize risks because not all risks are equal and requires the same level of attention and importance. Different methods exist to help in this process like cost benefit analysis and matrix diagrams and decision trees. You can use one of these to prioritize the risks. Step number five, document all risks. Documenting risks is such an important activity. In this step, you got to develop an effective security risk assessment report, which talks about what all the critical assets and what are the threat actors which could cause harm, damage, or steal those critical assets, and what are the vulnerabilities within your existing system, and what are the proposed security measures that can mitigate those risks. Ultimately, this report should help the management to understand and should be able to make informed decision whether to accept those risks or mitigate those risks or transfer those risks or completely avoid those risks. It is ultimately up to the management to decide and you as a security professional, you provide the report in such a way that it will help the management to make the decision. So make sure that you document all your findings in the security risk assessment report that will help the management to make the informed and better decisions. An effective security risk assessment framework is a foundation for effective security risk management program. So now you understood the five steps that are required to conduct an effective security risk assessment and present those findings to your management. If you really want to go deeper into this concept, the COP security, security risk assessment framework will help you do it better. Visit copsecurity.org and join our COP security community. Inside that, you'll be able to find the information to implement this framework.